welcome back to my channel. Now I love playing the new consoles like the Nintendo Switch or the uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, but I also like playing some of the older consoles, including the Wii U. Now, today we are going to be talking about why you should buy a Wii U in 2022. About the Wii U, it was just didn't sell well because of its incredibly bad marketing. So, me and my dad are going to be talking about why you should buy a Wii U. So, the Wii U came out in 2011, I believe, and we own two of these, don't we? Yeah. I've got one, and Max has got one. Mine's set for homebrew, which is a totally separate video, which I'm not going to do, but if you want to go on to YouTube and search Wii U homebrew, it basically allows you to do loads of stuff, but one of the main things I use it for is I install the games onto a separate hard drive and you can run a separate hard drive on the Wii U and all my games are already installed. So. Speaking of games, that is my first point. The Wii U games. Now the games for the Wii U right now, because of the console's lack of success, are incredibly cheap. There should be some footage coming up soon of gameplay. And... Yeah, so we're going to show some footage of what we found when we went. To, we actually went to CEX, and then in the shop we saw these games at actually this price. So the real, it's not made up, and the prices you're going to see on the screen are coming now. And also we're going to run in the top corner, either that one or this one, because I don't know which side I'm putting it on when I edit it. There'll be some gameplay from the certain games, which I think we've got Mario Maker there, mm -hmm. a bit of Mario Kart, Wind Waker, and I think Mario Deluxe, is it Mario? Super Mario. Super Mario Deluxe. Yeah. So we've got them, and they're just going to be showing the thing. So if you look, you can pick up a a black version, which is a 32 gig version, for well, around like 85 pounds. Yeah, I think, it was. I think the one on CEX is 85, but we've seen them cheaper, haven't we? Yeah. Facebook Marketplace, you want to take and the risk. As you can tell on the things, all the games are incredibly cheap. I think Mario Maker was like six pounds. Splatoon six pounds. Wind Waker HD, I think, it's like eight, ten pounds. Wind Waker HD, I think, was a little bit more, but. The vast majority were between six and eight pounds. Yeah, Super Mario 3D Land, one that we couldn't get working, was again eight pounds, and that's a 3D game for eight pounds. There's a bunch of good deals on the Wii U. So why didn't it take off? So because why is it? It's it's actually if if you look on on YouTube uh, and you watch videos of this, people take the Mickey out of it, and that's reviewers. And the the reviewers that are taking the Mickey out of this clearly have never played it. Because, because it sold horribly because of, as I mentioned before, the advertising was horrible. It was just bad. You can go and look at some of the advertisements for it. it. They were just not good. It didn't display all the features of the Wii U whatsoever and what it was about. So it's 720p, uh, HDMI connection on the back and it runs on this, which is the controller. So, on certain games, this controller, quite a lot of games actually, the controller serves as a, a dual purpose, it's a touch screen and you can use it for different parts of the game. When this came out and I bought my version, which is now Max's one, mm -hmm. I bought it to play Zombie U, because I've seen trailers for Zombie U and I, love, I still love the game. And it used this as a communication device for the when you're in this game and it worked really, really well. The biggest problem with these is you can't be that far away from your TV. I mean, your main base unit, you've gone to anything over two or three metres and it's going to cut out. Also, a game like Super Mario Maker relies very heavily on the on the Wii U screen, as that's how you make levels. That's literally the whole purpose of Mario Maker, and it relies heavily on the screen. And it works fantastic on that, doesn't it? Yes, it does. There's a bunch of different games but they all have different pur purposes. So after this came out, where they, they had a, quite a big gap did Nintendo, because yeah. this failed obviously, and then of course... The Switch came out. This came out, out which is uh, different but similar in so many ways. As you saw, I'm going to turn this on. Well bam, does the screen look a bit similar? Because 
I think they're both 720p, aren't they? Uh, they're both 720p out to your TV. Uh, sorry, this one will do 1080, but when it first came out, it was 720. But you can, the, 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 the whole thing is very similar. If you look at Mario Kart Deluxe, it mm -hmm. isn't that much different on a Switch than it is on a Wii U. Exactly. I'm not, we're not saying for one minute this is the best console you could buy at the minute. You've got <laughs> PS5, Five. Xbox Series X, yeah, see, and, and a Switch indeed, and it's not as good as a Switch. There's please. also the OLED mode for the Switch. But, but we worked out for under £120 you can buy this, a pro controller to go with it, and four games. The four games that will have been playing in the top. And that is an absolute bargain. Even if you bought nothing else and just played them four games, in, in this market today, I think that's a great deal. Especially with retro gaming being as big as it is, I think this thing doesn't get a fair enough press, does it? A few things to mention. One, Wii U games are probably going to go way up in price. Hey, it's uh, time to watch gonna, some baseball. Because people are going to get okay. older and older and the demand's going to go higher and higher. And second of all, second. the eShop support for the Wii U and the 3DS, yes, which is another thing, is, is going away in March 2023. So if you want to get games online, uh, at soon. So, yeah, as Max said, it's, I don't think that's going to really make that much of it, and it shouldn't make a difference to people. And, and don't be pulled off by that, but Max is right, it's going to go out, but it's still being supported now, which is quite a remarkable considering how bad this console is. So. Mm -hmm. We have just about every console ever made, don't we? I think we've got, we've got a few missing, haven't we? Some of the real old, expensive ones. Mm -hmm. But we've got all the mainstream ones, yeah. Sega, Nintendo, that's that fact we've got every Nintendo on here. Yeah. yeah. In the handheld. That is a bit of quite a few retro consoles from CES, but it's a game from the Yeah, we have a big collection, don't we? We've, we've got every PlayStation. I don't sell them, but we've still got the PS1, the PS2, the PS3, the PS4, and a PS4 Pro. So. And the same with the Xbox, we've got them all the way back to the original Xbox. Enough, the one PS4 we don't have is the original model, we have the Slim. We have the Slim, but we don't have the original model. Which my Slim is basically the PS4 Pro. It's with the white model, yeah. which is also quite rare. Yeah, it's a nice model, isn't it? Yeah. It's but, and, and now we're into this territory, and, and don't get me wrong, these are fantastic, but the link between these and the PS4 and an Xbox isn't big enough to me to be more than all the sure, the graphics are amazing, but... I'm trying to get, if you haven't got one of these and you've been trying to get all the ones up, Manny, you're not missing much. Just yeah. play your PS4 Pro. Yeah, and if you're a big Nintendo fan, but couldn't get the Wii U because nobody wants it, no one wants it and you didn't realise until it's quite enough. You can get them cheap on places like CES and it's new there to eBay or Facebook Marketplace. So this, this is obviously going to be uploaded on Max's channel, but we are probably going to bang it on my channel at some point as well. So Max's channel is obviously the one you're watching now. My channel is CK Motorsport where I used to do drones and now we do sim racing. So it's on the sim racing channel. But I also do the odd game with you, so... Quick to mention, if you're wondering why I'm not on his channel, I went back to him after a lumber video. Yeah, we, we, we tried to do something that didn't work, but um, here we are. So Max now will be back doing videos, won't we? Yeah. Yes. So here we go, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.